Good day. I would like to give you my analysis for trade preparation from May 23rd on QQQ, Gold and KB. QQQ has been strongly pulled up in the recent trading. All indices has also been pulled up one by one. This is the reason why that I had took a position in small cap stock and sold it off quickly for a short-term gain. I still view the debt ceiling debate is used to further pull up QQQ and concurrently short squeeze the shortests. Once all shortests are being squeezed, then the market will continue to descend which is a reflection of the true economy strength and fundamental. Therefore, I thought QQQ will be making it price action formation for a head structure. Let's recap what we had said on May 17, 2023. I have initiated a small short position on QQQ. Looking at June, it is by historically a difficult month to trade for gain compared to fantastic April and not so fantastic May. In my previous analysis, I have used Baidu price action to decipher how Alibaba will perform. This has done well where I am able to continue to milk my midterm Alibaba 100 share holding for dividend. The price action of Baidu shows it is weakened. As you can see Baidu has fallen below 134 even though it has met earning report expectation. In my previous sharing, I highlighted that QQQ is coming into the corner of the wedge formation. It is very near to have a breakthrough either up or downside. We have witnessed that QQQ has made a strong pull up and I have initiated a small short position. I have no intention to add on to my position and instead will be tracking the price action movement for QQQ in next few days to next week. I will add another short position if QQQ breaches 351. As the volatility is now slightly elevated, I will need to monitor VIX closely because further downside of VIX will give QQQ a chance to break out higher. Finally, QQQQ performance during the past three debt ceiling historical events have all been positive pull of QQQ of up to 20%. You can revisit the video I had done previously on my analysis of QQQ. Although many central banks have been buying a lot of gold, I have decided to take a different stance that gold will be substantially weakened in the coming weeks to two months into July 2023. If GLD which is gold ETF failed to hold its support level, then it may drop further to the 173 to 176 range. The price action of many commodities has started to exhibit interesting trends. You can revisit my video on natural gas. Do stay tuned and subscribe my channel as I will start to analyze the a few more commodities movement for the next few updates. Looking at KBE, it has breaches its support and currently trending downward. It is not in good shape. This means most of the financial and insurance stocks will be under pressure in coming weeks. Therefore, I would deduce that the market is at a range that we may experience more volatility and downward pressure. Hence, the strong pull of many indices make a lot of sense now as market players would like to sell their stocks into the rally and wait to collect them back at much lower price pending the coming correction. In summary, I would not be longing any QQQ component now. In fact, I would tend to look to add on to my short position if QQQ further breaches 351. As for gold, I am holding a contrarian views and looking for it to test the support at 173 to 176. For KBE, 
It give additional support to my views that it is going to be more volatile and difficult June month for finance and insurance stocks. As we are going into June, I would be cautious and do more position size and not initiate any position to long stock. These are my personal opinions and not financial advice. I am seeing more signals of a challenging time ahead in stock, therefore please do like, share and subscribe so that you can get my latest updates on my trade preparation. Thank you.